there and welcome to the new video where I'll be sharing the 12 days click sense learning path. So this same 12 day I have shared it for Tableau and I have shared it for oops where you have gone. So the same 12 days uh, uh, learning plan I've shared it for Tableau or and even for the Power BI. So I just thought why not I give it even for the click sense a tool that I have used extensively in the past. And so that if you are the one who are planning to learn ClickSense, then you can get, uh, you can basically get all the topics that you need to know uh, to become an effective ClickSense developer. And again, like I said in my previous video for Power BI and Tableau, where I've shared the similar plan, basically you need to spend around three hours on a daily basis on these topics to really gain uh, a good amount of knowledge in 12 days. Otherwise, it will not be useful, right? This is what I have assessed that if you are spending three hours daily on each of this topic by going through, let's say, uh, from right from reading about it to experimenting it in, uh, within the tool, then you will going to get the most out of it, output out of it. All right, so let's go ahead and see uh, the first topics. So the first thing we want, I want you to uh, look at over here is the data import. One of the key where uh, in there is no inbuilt data, you need to do the data import. So you can use the, uh, if, if you don't have the data set, there is a uh, lot many data set that I have provided. Also, uh, you can find the data set on, on the Kaggle, on the data.world. Basically pick the data set where you are most comfortable, where you have, uh, let's say some knowledge or you can basically interpret a little bit. You've, you basically import this into the ClickSense and uh, see how, uh, what are the different options that are available. Now, what I want you to do is when we are doing the data import is that you look at the Excel data import. Within Excel, you have multiple tabs. So how you can load either the individual tab or the multiple tabs or the CSV files and the data set files like the Microsoft Excel, SQL Server and things like those. Wherever it is possible, you know, try and play around with the data import, the different options that is given over there. Uh, do a little bit of reading as to how many different data connectors that is available. And basically, to, by the end of three hours, you should have a comfortable knowledge. If let's say you, are, uh, you want to do the data import from your desktop, let's say uh, from any cloud-based solution, for example, Google Sheet or, uh, or solution like those, even some initial data, some databases like the, uh, for example, the Microsoft Access or the SQLite or the SQL Server or even Oracle. I mean, you should have the knowledge which you can speak about it or by let's say end of the 12 day, you should not feel like, oh, this is something new has come up or a database has come up and I won't be able to do it. So this is something I want you to spend on the first three hours on the data import. Second thing is, ClickSense has this association logic, very, very important for you if you're starting that you need to know how uh, values are associated to each other. This is the Click's patented technology and it is one of the reasons why Click as a tool is very famous. So it's association logic, read about it, uh, what, what it means by associated, not associated and excluded and in what colors they represent. That way you will have a very uh, seamless and uh, great experience when you will be designing your dashboards and reports. The third thing is the ClickSense has a lot of different components like you have the list component, you have search box components and many other. Uh, so take, take a look at uh, and play around with each component, learn about its basic configuration, the properties that are there and uh, and basically see how if you need to design a new report let's say by the end of these 12 days when you will doing some experiment then you will be able to use those components after that what you have is the bookmark bookmark is also one of the component but i am keeping it separate because with bookmarks you can actually do a lot and i want you to have a high focus on the bookmarks because you will going to use it a lot and the main 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 reason is that because you will be able to save your analysis and basically by saving multiple analysis, you can do the analytical comparison between let's say one product to another or uh, one geo to another geo. All of those things becomes really simple when you are using the bookmarks within, tab, within the ClickSense. So this is something I want you to have a special focus on the bookmarks, look at their properties and see 
the different things that you can achieve with the help of the bookmarks. Next is the visualization. So other than the components which you have, you also have the visualization component. So there are a lot of different charts like close to around 15 different charts that you have it over there. Something which we put it, uh, uh, which we created as a customized chart in other tools, you have it as an inbuilt within this. So what I want you to look at is very important how to configure those, how would you provide X axis value, Y axis values, even dynamic titling that you can do the conditional formatting that you can do and many other properties that you can set, right? So look at those properties from basic configuration to conditional formatting to dynamic titles to uh, other properties that it shows. How do you basically configure it for the visualization? First create each visualization, interpret it and then look at their properties. It may be a possibility that it can go well beyond the three hours but don't stop there, continue focus on, on the visualization piece because day in day out, this is what you will going to do once you will going to complete your journey with the click sense, at least from learning perspective. Next is the uh, formatting. So formatting of visualization, formatting of uh, basically uh, what sort of colors that you need to use, what sort of uh, legends and their positioning and things like those. So this will be in combination with the point number five where you format your visualization, you format your component and, and uh, all of those things which is appearing on the, on the ClickSense report. We, you, I want you to spend a lot of time over there because you, uh, you may need to not only just produce the report but format it or create a dashboard or a story but, and format it so that user is basically having a good experience once they are uh, looking at the report. The next thing is the calculation. So calculation is basically required for visualization. So in, in click sense, there is a very strong uh, uh, calculation framework that is present and it has many features. And I'll talk about one other feature in a different point altogether. But idea here, here is that you need to know uh, how would you do the sum, how would you do the distinct sum, or the counting, the distinct counting, the average, the median and all of those basic calculations, how would you apply in different types of visualization is what you need to combine it over here. You may have already uh, done the, when you have done the exploring the visualization, you may have already explored some, uh, some calculations because without the calculations, you cannot even produce the visualization. So once probably you have done, that's why I said probably you have done the, some of the basic visualization here. But idea here is that you explore a little bit more from the perspective of the different keywords or different uh, type of configuration that you can do within the calculations. After that, uh, scripting is a huge part of the ClickSense where you can create uh, a very good script, which is SQL types of a script or SQL type of a script. Uh, where you can basically define how your end data will going to really look like. You can do all these different types of if conditions, you have functions like peak, previous and all of those where you can basically achieve almost every type of data scenario that you have uh, from your end users. So scripting is, is a huge part of it. I want you to start with some basics like how you can change the column name, uh, how you can do the, I would not say aggregation, but how you can apply the if conditions and things like those. Use the previous previous and the peak function over there and basically get a hands-on with the scripting. Next is the set analysis. Set analysis is again like scripting and uh, it's basically part of uh, your calculations in the front end where your, you can extend your calculation so that you can achieve the custom scenarios or custom needs of your visualization. One interesting feature is that of set analysis is it allows you to have a complete control over what you want to show in the front end. So set analysis is something very, very important. And once you will be building slightly advanced dashboard, you will be seeing that you are using it again and again uh, over there to basically do the uh, right level of calculations within your visualization. So in calculations, you will going to use the set analysis, but set analysis itself is a huge topic over there. So I want you to spend a good amount of time over here as well. 
variables very very important to achieve some dynamic behavior also uh, variables are important for optimization of your application so for example if you let's say have very simple formula sum of sales right that let's say you have you are using in 15 different visualization maybe you have a very huge dashboard and you are doing that for example tomorrow your sales are becoming huge and what you want is uh, because it's showing such a big number earlier let's say it was uh, $1,000 or $2,000 but maybe after five years if not let's say five years but let's say after the next uh, after one year or two year it's in millions right so what do you usually do you basically divide the sum of sales by thousand just to basically reduce those big numbers into small numbers just a very simple example so with the help of variables you can specify the sum of sales at one location and specify the variable in each visualization and tomorrow if any change that you need to do you can just do in the variables and everywhere it, it will change so that's the amazing part about variables it it allows the faster work and uh, able to you know uh, optimization of the work and you are spending less amount of time to achieve more with the help of variables and there are many other things that you can do with the help of the variables when you combine it with the set analysis calculations and the list components over there you will be seeing that you are creating a lot of magic when you are applying it okay the next thing is is the security security is a key part you have an amazing uh, way of specifying how custom level security that you can provide within the click sense or uh, yeah click sense i was about to say even the click view uh, where you can see on what particular let's say on a geo or on a product or on any field if you want to specify security you can create a very flexible security data model and apply the security something very very useful for enterprise level applications and finally you have the dashboards and stories i want once everything is done i want you to practice the basic dashboard and stories first in your first three hours but once your all these 12 days are complete the next thing is the same advice i am giving you here which i have given previously in case of tableau and power power bi is look at the great dashboards that has already been made on uh, workout wednesday or makeover monday these are like two different communities which i find very useful where if you are looking for some inspirations you go there data set is present previously created uh, selected visualizations are present try to recreate it even in the click sense i would say not 100 percent match because something some visualization may be very very specific to let's say tablet or power bi but something which you think is meaningful and with the help of the existing visualization that you can achieve along with the similar type of look and feel when it comes to the text font or the coloring or the alloc or the sizing of the component and putting at a specific place is something what you should do in next 18 days so basically after 12 days when you have a good hands-on understanding of the tableau the next 18 days i want you to spend on this exercise so that by the end of the one month you have not just have the knowledge of this but you know how to apply this knowledge to build great dashboard and i'm pretty sure if you are following this path then after one month you are coming out as a strong developer within the click sense where you you not only have this knowledge but have a great understanding of uh, building the great dashboard which you started from the day 12 till day 30. So this is what I wanted to share with you, the topic by topic list, so that for a beginner, it becomes really uh, sort of an objective based learning or the goal based learning, uh, which is which I feel I would have when I started it. But never mind. Uh, uh, I am just giving you here based on my experience. Let me know if I'm missing anything here. Uh, based on this because here I am giving you high level view of what are all the things that you need to know based on this if I missed anything let me know uh, from your experience if you are an experienced ClickSense developer or a ClickSense user and uh, and yeah uh, it will be great to learn even uh, great to learn from you and maybe community will find it useful once they are uh, looking at your comment so that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic thank you